Hey everybody, we are out here camping and I wanted to show you the Wawona 8 tent from North Face. I'm not a professional reviewer, but when I was looking for a tent to buy for our family, I wanted to upgrade what we had and there were no videos. So I decided I would try it out um, and do a review ourselves. Uh, so that way, if anybody's looking to buy one, you know what you're looking at. I will say when we did review it, uh, when I first bought it, there's only one review and that was from like 11 hours before on the website for REI. There was nothing even on the North Face. Hopefully there's better videos than this by the time you're watching it. But we really like it so far. The whole thing is about 14 feet wide, about eight feet deep, not including the vestibule. The vestibule is about six foot entrance by six foot. I'll come in and show you how we set it up in here. So I measured the doors, they're about six feet, but we really like the vestibule. We got a little grass patch here and a little bench that we could sit on and take off our shoes. So I'll take you in real quick. There's essentially two doors to go into. This is our little setup for our kids. I apologize in advance for any mess. What we liked about it is we wanted an area where the kids can come in and have their own little space and we could have ours. So we're still working on how to upgrade this. We got the little bunko bed set up in here. And then let me show you the room divider. Like it, little divider. And this is our setup. It's not quite as cool as the kids, but we like the fact that it has a little easy to connect hookup right here. There's three on each side and then one in the middle. We have a little lantern in the middle and then we can kind of just open the room up. They both hold back with little connectors if we want them to, but mostly we got this so that way the kids can have their own little space. So we'll upgrade ours later. Come on through, but I'll show you the reason, one of the reasons we got it. Not only does it have two rooms and each room is about seven feet wide and going this way is about seven and a half feet. So if you're planning on getting some kind of a cot for yourself for a bed, that's roughly the dimensions you have but we really like to have a second door for us. This way, when parents have to get out early in the morning to start breakfast or go to the restroom, we're not climbing over the kids anymore. And both of these come through, so we can always leave it just as a screen. So this morning, out here in the Redwoods, there was a lot of really pretty greenery and the light was coming through really nice with the fog. So we left this thing open where we could have a little look out as well. So it's a really cool setup. Now let me just show you the back of it because this was the hardest part of putting the whole thing together. Come on through. So on the back part of it, we found to be the toughest part of the whole thing. Just because the instructions weren't super clear to us. But what you do is when you're getting the back portion, this all comes open to give you extra window space if you want it, to you can put up. But out here in the Redwoods, it could be raining or misting all night. So we left it down. So what you do is these little guys connect back here along the way and they strap in on both sides, as you can see. And then you just pull it all the way over and connect down. The first time I set this up as a practice run, it took me 25 minutes doing it solo. With my wife this time, it took closer to about 15 minutes. I'm guessing next time we do it, it'll take us about 10. The tart part of it, because we had not done this, took us a little bit longer and the instructions weren't clear. But now that we got it, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to set the whole thing up in about 20 minutes next time. But anyway, that's our review. I hope you guys like it. I hope it's helpful.